can't believe we're already here again. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? I remember when we first faced you three heroes. Remember that? Outside that ghost town. You were little babies compared to how you are now. Look at you, so strapping. You're finally getting your chance to play with the grown-ups without Becca. It's what you wanted, isn't it? To fight us all by yourselves? Yes, you've really come into your own, big guy. Leader of the heroes. Except it always felt like I was at least three steps ahead of you. Looks like you caught up to little old me took you long enough. I was starting to have my doubts. <laughs> I'll always remember you as my greatest rival. I hope you'll do the same courtesy for me. <laughs> no matter who wins or loses, of course, I want you to put up a good fight for me in the end. I didn't come here to face you for nothing. No, I want a good story to tell my friend. Keeping you from your destination has always been a priority for us. We have our reasons. It's not just my wants and needs to be accounted for. Oh no, of course not. Greater good and all that. <laughs> or greater evil. Because if I were to have it my way, I'd be here to fight you for the fun of it. To see who's the strongest, who's the fastest of the two of us. But that's just not how things are gonna go. You know that. Big battles and all. I hope you understand. It's my job to stop you. To keep you away from what you want. To keep the power in our hands. So that means I have to be the strongest one here. Not you. Not your little friends. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. You boasting before you fall. You better back those words up. I want this to be a battle to remember. You're the Papa Bear, but of course I can't forget about your other friends here. Are you going to be good backup like always, Mama Bear? Or did you have someone else in mind to fight today? <laughs> don't like being called Mama Bear. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's all fun and games here. This may very well be a fight to the death. I'd just like to know the order of events here so I can see where I should focus my attacks first. Oh, don't. Be like that. This is a big deal for me. Papa Bear and I, we go way back. One on one, mano we mana, <laughs> whatever it is. I want it to be more meaningful, don't you think? No distraction. Well, can't you lesser heroes just ignore the two of us for a while? We fight to the death. Go fight my allies. I'd at least like a little bit of time to gauge which of us really is the strongest, the fastest, the best. Fine, fine. I gotcha. I gotcha. Sheesh. Talk about being overly efficient. Can't even get in my shining moment when it actually matters. I could be dead within a matter of minutes. You think you'd honor a villain monologuing? <laughs> well, if you're that serious, then I expect you to put up just as good of a fight as the big guy. Make me believe you want to get past us. Finish what you came out here to do. Good. I'd expect nothing less from the big, strong heroes. Last, but certainly not least, our third and final little friend. Baby bear. Oh. Oh, you. There's a lot I expect from you. Yes. I need you to do one very important thing for me. <laughs> Die for me. Hey. 
Hey there. You look like you had a nice, <laughs> well-deserved rest. It took a lot out of me. But I'm glad you're okay. I'm not used to healing wounds about Sophia. Probably should have practiced a bit more. Mm, yes. You will have a slight scar on your stomach where I stabbed you. Hmm. <laughs> what did I say before? I didn't lie to you. Something about taking your life. Yeah. Well, I did. You're dead to your friends. To my allies. So you're safe. No. <laughs> your friends were not too happy about that. I was almost on the receiving end of a blade myself. After they saw you fall, they were so angry. Saw my life flash right before my eyes and everything, but I knew I had to get out of there in one piece. Otherwise, you would really have been dead. Couldn't have that. No, oh, could we? No, oh, I'm so tired. I tried my hardest to make sure you wouldn't bleed out quickly. But your wound had to be convincing enough to make it look like you weren't coming back. It was a fine edge to walk. <laughs> I told you I was good with a knife. They only really like to show it off on special occasions. It's been commoditized in the past. But of course, now you've seen my skill firsthand. Oh, I know. I know where all the weakest spots on the body are. And where you can stab someone without instant death. It's important to know how to kill, how to maim. It's kept me alive. Oh, <laughs> I know more than just those spots when it comes to you. You're weak in a lot of other ways too, aren't you? Baby bear. <laughs> oh, I was having so much fun riling them up. Really will be a grand memory. Not as grand as being here with you by a fire. Maybe with all the time we have now, I can become familiar with all of your spots. Every inch of you. Hmm? At your pace. Of course, it's, it's just us, remember? No one else. Hmm? <laughs> the outcome of what happened. It doesn't really matter at this point. Whether the villains or the heroes won, who lived, who died, changes nothing. You knew going into this that there was a chance you'd never see them again. And you won't. We're past all of that, aren't we? Uh -uh. I gave you an opportunity to make lasting memories with them. You had all that time to do that. Was it not enough? Does saving the world for the corporate overlords really mean all that much when the only world you have is the one right here? Well, you've got me. You've got this lovely house in the woods, a nice fire, comfort. There's nothing to worry about anymore. You. You don't have to fight ever again, and neither do I. It's paradise. Yeah, we're free to do whatever we want now. No amount of resentment anyone has or had can take this away from us. We're safe. Oh, little hero, why don't you tell me this? Hmm. Would you have done it 
if everything all went according to your plan. You saved the world, renewed business. All of your enemies are in the grave. Now what? All you've got left is your hero friends, but they want to go about their lives. What about you? No, I'm long gone, deader than you are to the world right now. How are you going to spend the rest of your days? Oh, surely those hero boys will be greeted with many prospective lovers who'd give just about anything. Anything to catch the eyes of the latest saviors of the world. America's new asses. No doubt they'd take the bait and spend the rest of their days drowning in their glory. Movie deals, who knows? They always struck me as simple-minded. Whereas you are complex. <sighs> I don't doubt that you've gotten your fair share of admirers. Of course. They would be fools not to clamor for your attention. But only those with good taste could see past the muscles of those two idiots. Sadly, no, it's not the same for me. I'm a villain. Who wants that? <laughs> Of course you'd prefer me, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, but that's what's so great about how things turned out. We both got what we wanted. And there'll be so much more, I promise you. I put a lot of time and effort into getting all of this ready for us. Been squirreling away money for quite some time. We'll have a nice comfortable life from now on. No, no blood money, I promise. And I'll take care of you in every possible way. Your friend, your family, your lover, anything you need me to be. Yes, I've been a chameleon my whole life. I'll do whatever I need to just for you. Mm-hmm. A joy. But there's one thing I need from you in return. asking. I know I'm so proud, usually, but can I request that you take care of me, too? That you meet me halfway? All you need to do is indulge me every once in a while, <laughs> like you've been doing already. Oh, nothing that'll scare you away, I promise. It'll be things that make you feel good, too. Hmm? always consensual. Let's test out my request then. If it's all right with you, I'll lie down next to you for a bit. Mm, sitting next to you is lovely, but lying next to you would be grand. Yes, being close to you makes me feel better. Is that all right? <laughs> Thank you, you brat. I'm very grateful. Just move over a little bit. Hmm. It feels amazing finally being here. I've dreamt of this moment. Come a little closer. And that's better. Oh, you're so warm. So warm. Mm -hmm. Little hero. Mm -hmm. Is it okay if I call you that? Would you do one more thing for me? Mm -hmm. Can you make your cute little noises while I kiss you? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Don't worry about how you sound. No one else can hear you. Not now, not ever. Not unless you want to. We're far away from everyone. Safe. You don't have to be. 
be afraid to lose yourself in this new thing. Mm -mm. You can give in and no one will be the wiser. So relax. sure it stays between us. It'll be our little secret. Special thanks to Blue Chan for writing this entire series. It's over, but other things to come. And if you want to hear me say good boy and good girl, those versions are in Patreon just for my followers there. I hope to see you there soon.